Hi everyone, this is my start in coloring book by Anne Yvonne Gilbert, English Country Home. And if you like novels by Jane Austen, I invite you to join me. In this first part, I will be doing a watercolor underpaint. My brush is from Jackson's Art and paints are mostly white nights. All links will be in the info box. I didn't plan to do completed background on this stage. I just wanted to roughly indicate main color areas. And I plan to add details and contrasts to the background only after I will color all characters. It will be easy to get balance and color values properly. Because of course our characters have to be done with brighter colors to be more detailed and I plan to do them with color pencils. In this way our characters will be focal point and our background just will gently frame our characters and it will be less detailed and less bright. For now I decided to do the first uh, three pages. If you are not familiar with this coloring book, I will leave you a link to my review, but in total we have here eight pages to color. And first three we have here and this is arrival of guests and then the living room with the guest reception. So I decided that it will be a nice start. I worked with very pale watercolors. I diluted all my colors heavily. For the center on the yard I used raw sienna and yellow ochre with a lot of water. Also I did very pale sky and for the trees I used some cool greens and some olive greens. In this way in using both cool and warm greens I added more variety to the line of trees. For the house walls I used one of my favorite color combos. I mixed drop of viridian or emerald green in some watercolor sets, then a drop of cerulean blue and drop of violet. And I, again I added a lot of water. In this way I got a very soft pale grey blue color and I really love it. I also love a variety of hues you can get by adding a little bit of more of blue or a little bit more of violet colors and you can use that I used it mostly on the outer and inner walls of the house. If you decide to color this book with watercolors just like me, I highly advise you to work with very transparent pale layers because paper here is really good and you will be able to do as many layers as you want to do layer after layer, to do glazing technique and gradually get the depth of color you really want to achieve. It will be much easier than if you use bright opaque color already on the first step, it will be more difficult to correct and to get proper values of colors and it's easier to get too bright color which will be contrasted with the main characters. So be patient and work in very light transparent layers. Also in this part I decided to color carriage and of course carriages were mostly black but for coloring it and to get more lively effect I used mix of indigo blue, then a paint gray and black. When I started to color, I was worried a little bit about area of the page which is banded, but so far I didn't have any problems. I covered these areas with watercolors 
and I already bent it a couple of times and paint wasn't ruined, so I think that in the end everything will be alright and this area won't be even visible on the completed picture. I was really satisfied with my start in this coloring book, this book quality and how my paints laid down on this paper, so I hope that you will join me in the second part. Thank you for watching and I highly recommend you to look at Pictura books because they have a really nice selection of artists.